This episode of Marijuana Today Daily is brought to you by MJ Today Media, publishers of this podcast, our weekly flagship show, Marijuana Today, as well as the weekly shows, Weed Wonks and Green Rush, which you can find over at weedwonks.com and greenrushpodcast.net. If you have a legal marijuana business brand or service that you want to introduce to the best audience in the industry, then you need to be spending some of your marketing budget with us. Get in touch with me today to learn how. Just email me at Shay at mjtodaymedia.com with Shay spelled S-H-E-A. Good morning, Marijuana Nation. It's Wednesday, May 20th, 2020, and you're tuned in to episode 939 of Marijuana Today Daily. I'm your host, Shay Gunther, and I'll be walking you through today's marijuana news and headlines. As always, we have a full and busy day of cannabis news in our hands, so let's jump right into it. As he's done at least one other time that I can remember, Mr. Kyle Yeager over at Marijuana Moment dominates our top three stories with all three headlines. Up first is news of a letter sent yesterday to House and Senate leaders in Washington, D.C. by a bipartisan group of 34 state and territory attorneys general urging the inclusion of marijuana banking language in coronavirus pandemic relief legislation. In the letter, which you can read in full yourself over at Marijuana Moment, the attorneys general say that freeing up banks to work with legal cannabis is an important health measure to take as it cuts down on the use of cash in legal marijuana transactions. It would also generally make it easier for government entities to collect tax revenue, something that is especially needed at the moment. Kyle's second story today is a good bit of news out of Illinois, which just announced a new $31.5 million fund that will be used for restorative justice grants that will be given to, quote, communities impacted by economic disinvestment, violence, and the severe and multi-layered harm caused by the war on drugs, unquote. The funding was generated from legal cannabis sales tax, with the state making adult use legal as of January 1st, so that means there is more where this came from. This came about because of language in Illinois' adult use legislation, setting up what is being called the Restore, Reinvest, and Renew program. This is another thing that we need to have in every state. You can find more details and a link to apply to the Restore, Reinvest, and Renew program over at Marijuana Moment. Our final top story today, again, courtesy of Mr. Kyle Yeager, is pickup of news out of Washington, D.C. that Mayor Muriel Bowser's just released budget for fiscal 2021 hints at plans by city officials to eventually legalize adult use marijuana just as soon as the federal government, and by that I mean Republicans, allow them to. Reporter Martin Austin Mule at WAMU first noticed the budget's cannabis legalization clues with a call for shifting control of D.C.'s medical marijuana program from the Department of Health to the Alcohol Beverage Regulation Administration, as well as for the creation of a new fund to hold cannabis tax revenue. As Kyle has it, D.C.'s city government has been blocked from further legalizing cannabis by federal Republican lawmakers, so the moves by Mayor Bowser now just subtly sets the stage for when that is no longer the case and the citizens of D.C. will be free to govern themselves. Those are our top stories for today. It's time for Marijuana Today Daily Headlines Blitz. Before we blitz out in headlines, let's quickly thank our sponsor, MJ Today Media, publishers of this podcast, our weekly show, Marijuana Today, as well as the Weed Wonks and Green Rush podcasts, which can be found over at weedwonks.com and greenrushpodcast.net. We are the perfect place to market your own legal marijuana business, product, or service. We can work with budgets of all sizes and we'll get your legal cannabis marketing message in front of all the right people because we now have more than 25,000 listeners, all of whom are likely to either be in the industry already or who are working to get in. That's who you want to talk to and who we can help you reach. Email me today at shay at mjtodaymedia.com with shay spelled S-H-E-A to learn how you can get on our advertising calendar. That's shay at mjtodaymedia.com. All right, time for the Blitz. Quartz looks at the recent pickup in interest of people growing marijuana at home. 
Now that cannabis is legal to grow in a lot of U.S. states and that a lot of us are stuck at home, it shouldn't be surprising to hear that sales in small-scale cultivation equipment and supply are both up big. One company that's doing well in particular is Hawthorne, a division of Scott's miracle Grow that specializes in cannabis growing. Not content with his top three stories, Kyle is back with another, this time covering a notice just issued by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration about a voluntary recall of a CBD product that tested for the presence of lead in the state of Florida. The company Summit Labs voluntarily recalled a batch of watermelon-flavored core organic tinctures after a random sampling failed a test for lead. Summit Labs then informed the FDA, which shared the news publicly. This is exactly why we have and need legal cannabis. Nice work all around. Marijuana news and listing site Leafly just announced that it closed on a $3.6 million round of funding. That comes after the company moved to trim its workforce by more than half as it first laid off 54 people in January and then 91 more in March. The company currently employs 133 people and has raised a total of $14.8 million in funding to date. The Canadian province of Ontario is extending an emergency order allowing for legal marijuana delivery and curbside pickup. The order was set to expire yesterday, but now has been bumped out to May 28th. Ontario dispensaries are also now free to sell in store to customers, although they have to adhere to a set of new regulations to cut down on the transmission of the coronavirus. Marijuana-based cannabis operator LiveWell is buying up fellow dispensary chain Mindful, which has five stores in all throughout the state. Once this deal closed, LiveWell will have a total of 22 shops in Colorado, both of the adult use and medical varieties. Marijuana Business Daily's Chart of the Week shows how the week-to-week -week sales in Ohio have tracked for legal medical marijuana since the start of the year, with 2020's cumulative totals coming in so far at right around $50 million. This is a good bit of chartery to absorb in full as it shows how Ohio's medical consumers reacted to the coronavirus pandemic setting in. After an initially busy week around March 23rd, sales dipped slightly but have since rebounded to right around the $4 million per week mark. And finally for today, Keith J. Kelly at the New York Post noticed that in a recent SEC filing by marijuana media company High Times Holdings, the company said it was not moving ahead with the acquisition it announced in late March of California marijuana cultivation company Humboldt Heritage. This is interesting news on its own, but even more so alongside the other deals that High Times has announced over the last year or so that have ended up falling through. So a good thing to keep in mind whenever you hear news from high times. Those are the headlines and news for the day. I'll be back with you again tomorrow morning with another information-packed episode of Marijuana Today Daily. But in the meantime, if you have any stories to share or feedback to give, zip us an email to headlines at mjtodaydaily.com. And while you're clicking around the interwebs, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com to find links to all the news we cover. Thanks to our sponsor, MJ Today Media, and to our awesome patron listeners for the support that makes this show possible. To join the illustrious ranks of the patron listeners yourself, swing over to our website at mjtodaydaily.com daily.com and click on that big blue button at the top of the page that says become a patron. I'm your host, Jay Gunther. Thanks for tuning in and starting your day with marijuana today. Today. One take, Shay. One take. <laughs>